What's up everyone and welcome. In this episode, we're going to talk about 6 million routers being left exposed to attack in the UK. Now, with today's global work from home scenario, this can have insane security effects on your company. So stick around and let's see what we can learn. Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. Sky, a UK broadband provider, left about 6 million customers' underbellies exposed to attackers who could remotely sink their fangs into their home networks. A nice soft attack surface left that way for nearly 18 months as the company tried to fix a DNS rebinding vulnerability in customers' routers. Pentest Partners reported the problem to Sky Broadband, again, a broadband service offered by Sky UK in the United Kingdom, on May 11th, 2020. And then they chased Sky for repeatedly postponed updates, uh, the security firm said in a post. The flaw could have affected customers who hadn't changed the default admin password on their routers. Additionally, non-default credentials could have been brute forced, according to Pentest Partners. The vulnerability has now been fixed. The affected models are Skyhub 3, Skyhub 3.5, Booster 3, Skyhub, Skyhub 4, and Booster 4. While the last two router models were also affected by the weaknesses, they come with a random admin password, making them tougher to attack, but also leading them prey to brute forcing attacks. The BBC reports that another 1% of routers that Sky gives out aren't made by the company itself, though customers who own such routers can ask for a free replacement. DNS rebinding is a technique that turns a victim's browser into a proxy for attacking private networks. We've seen it used before and at an even greater scale than this sky flop. It was used in a two-step proof of concept exploit researchers demonstrated in January of 2020, gaining remote access to a compromised spectrum analyzer. Multiple cable modems used by ISPs to provide broadband into homes were found to have the critical vulnerability in their underlying reference architecture, a vulnerability that would allow an attacker to get full remote code control of the device. The footprint for the affected devices numbered in the hundreds of millions worldwide. Pentest Partners explained that the DNS rebinding technique allows an attacker to bypass the same origin policy, a defense in web browsers that permits scripts contained in a first web page to access data in a second web page, but only if both web pages have the same origin, thereby preventing web applications from interacting with different domains without the user's consent. Just think cross-site scripting. The exploit, which would have allowed an attacker to reconfigure a victim's home router, could have been triggered simply by directing a user to, via phishing attack to a malicious link. From there, the threat actor could take over someone's online life, stealing passwords for banking and other sensitive sites pen test partners Ken Monroe told BBC News. The security firm posted a proof of concept video on Friday. Pentest Partners hasn't found evidence that the vulnerability has been exploited in the wild. Sky didn't immediately respond to threat post queries, but the company told the BBC that updating so many routers took time and that it takes the safety and security of its customers very seriously. The BBC quoted a Sky spokesperson. After being alerted to the risk, we began working on finding a remedy for the problem and we can confirm that a fix has been delivered to all Sky manufactured products. As for why pen test partners didn't disclose its findings for so long, the firm explained that the lag, at least initially, seemed to make sense given work slowdowns caused by the coronavirus following, followed by a Christmas change freeze followed next by a series of deadlines that were missed without explanation. Finally, in August, Pentest asked the BBC to get in touch with Sky. On October 20th, Sky told the security firm that 99% of the vulnerable routers had been fixed. Pentest partners said they didn't disclose the vulnerability after 90 days because ISPs were dealing with challenges from vastly increased network loading as working from home became the new norm. We didn't want to do anything to limit the ability of people to work from home. Now, the fact that so many routers are being shipped with default passwords exposed to the internet is inexcusable in 2021, John Babinek, uh, principal threat hunter at security firm Netenrich, told Threat Post via email on Friday. This isn't a vulnerability or security flaw, it's gross negligence, and we should call it exactly that, he wrote. Knowing that they did this, it's not surprising that it took 18 months to address. 
The good news is that while Pentest Partners, the firm that discovered the vulnerability, makes the exploitation look effortless, exploitation is actually a bit more complex than most vulnerabilities, he observed. So, what can we learn from this? Well, just because we install patches to devices does not mean that we are safe. Now, if we rely solely on one piece of technology, like let's say in your home network, you only have your router there um, you know, with maybe a firewall and you think that that's protecting from everything, that is a giant mistake. Our companies and families uh, need to be safe and uh, in that one, if that one piece fails for whatever reason, including what Mr. Bambanek above calls gross negligence, um, especially considering the global work from home scenario we now find ourselves in. So our security plans need to take each layer of the network, review it, and ensure there is a maintenance or update policy in place and incorporate a threat model for those layers. If an employee with high clearance gets their router hacked from home and everything they do gets taken over, then when they connect to the corporate network, they can bring the attacker inside with them, giving a malicious actor the keys to the kingdom. And that, my friends, is what we call game over. With that, I say thanks again for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already and smash the bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Hi.